Madden 22 is just a few months away, so it's time to talk about a popular mode that will most likely be returning in this year's game. And before you think I'm just assuming or making this up, check the previous videos I've done like this the past two years. I wound up being right both times, so I think I'm allowed to try for a third time here. But to be honest, EA Sports is pretty predictable with what they're going to do with their future games, because if you listen to some of the rumors and the leaks around this time of the year, a lot of the same information starts leaking out there. When you start hearing the same thing over and over, you know that there's something going on. Aside from that, if you pay attention to how EA Sports operates with their previous years or their previous games, it's really not hard to predict what they're going to do. And that's why every single year I'm able to predict a good bit of what's going to be in the next game. Now, if you want to stay up to date with all of the Madden 22 news, it's going to be dropping pretty soon now. Make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so that you don't miss any of these uploads when they go live. You know, less than half of you that watch the videos aren't subscribed. So a lot of times you're missing out on some of these very important videos. Now, two years ago, I predicted that career mode would be returning and it did we got face of the franchise even though it wasn't the old school superstar mode it was a dedicated career mode which had not been in the game since madden 12 and then last year i predicted that some version of nfl street would be coming to madden 21 and that's exactly what happened when we got the new mode the yard again when you pay attention to what they do in previous years with previous games and also just pay attention to the leaks and the rumors that start circulating around this time of year it's really not that hard to predict what they're going to do so now let's talk about what's going to be returning most likely in in Madden 22. The popular mode that is said to be returning in Madden 22 from all the information that I have gathered is Superstar Mode, which is the true career mode that people have been asking for for years. Now, yes, the last two years we have had Face of the Franchise, but it was not received very well and it wasn't enough like the old school Superstar Mode. It was more so just an extension of the long shot story mode that we had in Madden 18 and in Madden 19. Yes, it was a little bit different. You got to control your own character, create what he looked like. You did have some decisions you can make that would alter your story a little bit but through playing this mode most players found that they usually wound up down the same path the stories weren't good or well received and this past year especially the mode had a ton of bugs it just kind of left a bad taste in everybody's mouth so there's really no reason for ea to even want to continue with this mode because people are already so turned off by it but they're not just going to take the career mode out of the game something that people have asked for for years and years they did give it back to us in some form they're not just going to remove that and not replace it with anything they see what NBA 2K has been doing all these years with my player, how it's become a staple of their game and how diverse the game has become because of this, where you can take that player into the park and you can take them into the pro-am. Well, Madden still doesn't have anything like that, but if you pay attention to what they've been setting up over the past few years, it makes perfect sense for them to go into a superstar mode of old, but kind of have it revamped for the new age. They finally added the yard last year, which now you could take your player into that aspect of the game. They've already been doing long shot and face of the franchise for the past four years which has laid somewhat of a foundation to do a complete overhaul and do a superstar mode now you have a lot of assets that you can use you have a lot of groundwork that has been laid so it's a lot easier now to build out a superstar mode than it would have been a few years ago and this is a big rumor going around right now i've heard this from so many people and again when you're hearing something from so many people nine times out of ten it usually winds up being right if so many people are talking about something just out of thin air typically that means this is something that's actually in the works i heard these type of rumors when it came to the yard i heard them when it came to face of the franchise i even heard it back in the day when it came to long shot because fifa had something like this in their game previously and again if fifa gets something there's a good chance that madden's going to get it the year after but here's another reason why i think they're going to be going to superstar mode another thing that ea has become very popular for are like one and done features or sometimes they have something for two years and they get rid of it they've done this with long shot two years in and then it was out they replaced it with face of the franchise well face of the franchise has now been in the game for two years and after not being well received there's really no reason for them to continue to pour money time and resources into it instead why not give people what they actually want which is the superstar mode of old we want to be able to control any player on the field face of the franchise at most lets you have three options this year you had quarterback running back or wide receiver there's plenty of people that want to be a defensive player on the d-line there's some people that want to be on the offensive line there's even people that want to be kickers you need to give them that option a superstar mode opens that up when you take away the story element of it I think that opens up a lot more of what you can do because when you look at long shot and face of the franchise it's really built more as a story mode than a standalone career mode and with the story you kind of need something that can be dedicated to each position which would be hard to do in football you don't want to have 20 plus different stories dedicated to different positions because a quarterback wouldn't have the same story arc as a defensive lineman and the defensive lineman wouldn't have the same story arc as a defensive back or a kicker so that's what kind of limited the fact that they couldn't do all of these positions because 
because the story still had to make sense with that position. Well, if you go back to superstar mode and kind of cut some of that pre-draft prologue stuff out, which honestly nobody seems to like anyway, I think you get to the core of what people want. Even when you look at NBA 2K and how great their my player mode is, I often hear so many people complaining about the pre-draft stuff, the prologue. A lot of people have even opted to skip it now that that option has been available. There are some people that do love playing through a story mode, don't get me wrong, but the masses typically want to just get into the action and start playing. Well, with Face of the Franchise, that really wasn't an option. You had to sit through these long stories and it would be different if the story was actually good, but the fact that the stories had been very bad and just kind of corny over the past few years, it made people not really want to engage in the mode, which means it's a waste of time and a waste of money for EA. So when you think about all of these things, it makes plenty of sense of why they would want to go back to a superstar mode. That is the mode that people have been asking for. The people that like to play franchise and offline modes, they want that superstar mode where they can control any player, where they can build up each player through training camp, through drills, through the combine. When you look at face of the franchise, the combine was super limited. Basically, you would like do a little passing drill. And then this year they did give you the option to run the 40 time, but that was it. You didn't have any bench press and you didn't have anything else you can do. And that's what people want in the superstar mode. They don't want to sit here and watch these corny storylines and barely get to play. And again, like I said, when you look at the fact that EA is usually one or two years and done with a lot of features, it would make sense why they would now move on from this and say, hey, let's just actually give the people what they've been wanting now. They want a career mode. We're trying to force this face of the franchise stuff on them. Nobody likes it. They actually would probably like something that's a little bit more simple and to the point, but where they have a little bit more variety and the options and the positions that they can choose. Trust me, with some games, yes, it makes sense to have these stories and these nice cinematics, but when it comes to a sports game, I think the sports gamer, the average sports gamer doesn't really need all that. They just want something that's simple and to the point and fun. That's why people look back at the old games and say how much fun they were. Even though in some ways we're more advanced and the games look better, we still had more options in the older games and people would give up some of those looks and some of those cinematics to just have the depth back in the game. And I think EA might finally be realizing this, at least in terms of superstar mode. And the fact that they did add the yard last year, it makes sense now why they would go back to a dedicated superstar mode. Because with the yard, your player in the yard was separate from your player and face of the franchise but in this day and age that doesn't make sense those things need to be interlinked because that'll make people engage with more of your game if I build up a player in superstar mode and I'm in the league and I'm building up my guy and I become a superstar I should be able to take that exact same player to the yard this is another reason why I think the yard not necessarily failed but I don't think it got as much hype as it should have gotten because it was very limited in what you could do the player and that was separate from your face of the franchise player the way you could build your player up was very limited and when you limit things like that it just destroys the replayability of the mode if my build my specific character in superstar mode where i would have more options of how to build him up if all of that could then be transported into the yard and now my player is more unique than yours it's different that would make more people engage with the yard the problem with the yard was there was only about eight to ten archetypes but they all pretty much played very much the same they had slight differences but it was basically if you had this archetype you played the exact Exact same way. Whereas if you look at an NBA 2K, you could have the same archetype as somebody else, but yours could play slightly different based on some of the tweaks that you make. You didn't really have that in the yard, and I think that is a big thing that took away from it, aside from there being no type of level up and ranking that was really there. So when you look at all this groundwork they've been laying over the last few years and the rumors that have been circulating, I'm here to say that I do think Superstar Mode will be returning in Madden 22, and that would actually give Madden 22 a lot of excitement, especially if you look at the fact that they're supposed to be adding some big features features back to franchise mode that have been asked for for years and after how horribly received Madden 21 was the point two user score the fixed Madden franchise all the backlash if they come back with Madden 22 and deliver that authentic superstar mode and they bring back a couple of those big features in franchise mode that have been asked for for the last decade that would make Madden 22 receive a lot of pre-release hype more so than the game has had in years now I think after this past year EA was forced to realize that they need to go back to some of the basics yes there's a lot of cool new stuff in the game there's a lot of people that like ultimate team there's a lot of people that like the yard but there's still so many of those basics that have been lacking for years and it's like the light bulb might have finally just clicked hey if we just go back to the basics this would actually make a lot of people happy the new stuff is cool too we have a fan base that loves the new stuff the new age way to engage with a sports game but there's still tons and tons of people that like the more old school style and it's really not that hard to implement these things and put them back in we've just been trying to force something new on them that they didn't want if it wasn't broke, don't fix it. Superstar mode wasn't broke. The old franchise mode wasn't broke. And it looks like they might finally be realizing that. I hope you
you enjoyed this video and found it informative, check out some of these other videos right here. Subscribe if you're new and you want to stay up to date with Madden 22 info. And I will see you guys next time.